to FM23. It's Bop to the Top with me, Matty G. And, um, yeah, things took a real interesting turn. Um, we got scoring goals. Uh, it's starting to dry up, but we did go for a nice six games of some severe high scores. I mean, the game against Watford away, 4-0. Fantastic result in that one. Luton, 7-0. Derby 8-0 and 6-0 against Huddersfield. Hud Huddersfield. 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 Uh, unfortunately, we did end up drawing in the last minute against Preston in what was an absolute freakish game. Um, I mean, just take a look at that. Uh, I don't think it even shows all. There we go. Two red cards, both on either side. Uh, we scored early and dominated the play up to the second half and then the second half it was pretty much all Preston um, they got a man sent off and then we thought right we can go in for the kill here um, unfortunately our top goal scorer was drying up on the goal front uh, in this particular game on others he was just outstanding uh, take the Derby game for an example um, there you go uh, was it the Derby game that was Kirk Kirk on four goals in one game, I mean, you can't really argue with that. Um, if I take, I believe it's the Luton game, he started really coming into his own. Um, es es so however you want to tell him. Um, Eurosport, he ended up with four goals. You can't really argue with that. Um, James McCutty has been playing pretty darn well. And it showed when we played against Huddersfield. Um, mostly first half smashed it. He got a hat trick in that and assist in every other goal so um he was pretty much on fire in that one uh unfortunately in the last game against preston it just yeah it fizzled out a little bit i'm hoping that's not a trend but we have had some minor injuries to the main men leading up to this so um some have completely passed fitness tests some are fully fit uh, we've got one suspension, so on and so forth. But we're aiming to play two games in here and then, um, yeah, we'll round off the season and do an end of season review. Um, we have got one issue. We may lose our big big boy up front, uh, old Eurosport. Uh, we've got a few, oh, a few clubs, quite a lot of clubs coming in for him. Uh, Crystal Palace being one of them. Um, there's £45 million bid from them. Um, but that keeps going up. Every time we reject him, them, everyone seems to be coming in for him. He's, he's rich goal form over the last few games. Obviously has made him very, very popular. So yeah, if we just take a quick gander, we're up to 17th. We are 10 points clear of the relegation zone as, as of right now. Um, I believe there is five games to go. So we just need a few more points to guarantee safety. Um, it's doable. Very much doable. Especially with the games that we've got upcoming. Um, let's have a look. We've got Reading. Uh, that's a possible point winner there. Coventry, again, a point winner there. Swansea is televised uh, against my former club who are still struggling for relegation. I have a funny feeling that somehow I'm going to really regret that decision. We're going to lose that one. And then I think the last two of the games of the season are going to all be losses as well. So I think these next two are very imp imperative to try and get something out of it. Uh, here we go. So we've got Kirk out currently injured. Um, he's just returning from injury. Uh, we've got Cameron. He's not long re returned back from injury. Tanner. Again, not long return back from injury. So there's a lot of ups and downs in this team. So uh, hopefully, uh, a spirit, a spirit, sotty Euro sport guy. Um, he's going to be back on form and firing the goals for us. Um, this sort of lineup has been working for us as of late. But if not, we do have a another setup that we've been training them in. So. Um, yeah, as soon as they're fully trained in the familiarity, intensity and everything else, we will add the right players to the correct positions. And then we've got two positions to chop and change from at the moment. Uh, as you can see, not everyone gets pleased. Um, he's very troubled. Uh, not everyone's pleased by every match. But 
we've got to go with what we've got because we need some points. So here we go, Bristol City line up as you probably, as you probably would have expected, and um, we're up against Reading, a uh, strong looking squad, they're not a bad looking team, they're um, definitely mid-table, about 15th I believe, yeah, at the 15th, so we're not far from them, um, hopefully a good win here will propel us up the table a little, a little further, uh, and more prize money towards the end of the season. There we go with the start of the match, probably one of these pointless highlights. Ball all the way back to the goalkeeper, he's going to do some silly little drop ball. And in about 10 seconds, there we go, it ends. <laughs> it always happens. Um, but the first couple of minutes looks good, pass completion pretty high, possession's low, um, which isn't too great. Uh, we've had one shot one shot on target and 0.01 goal. goal uh, oh, hello. Hello, we've got a free kick. Here comes the man himself. Top corner, please. Oh, off the post. Or the crossbar, or both. Out to Loins, down on the right hand side. Ah, oh, that's the end of that one. He should have got that one in. He's been in blistering form. Doesn't bode well when he misses good, good opportunities like that. <coughs> McKinsey pushes forward, runs past two defenders, tries to get a ball across rather than shooting. And the defender was able to get a good foot on it, and Darlow picked it out of the air. As things stand, we will actually go up place to 16th with the point. The point would like to convert that into three. I think what we'll do is we're just going to shout a little bit of encouragement to finish this um, second half of the first half strong, and uh, maybe get another one or two more chances in. I'm looking for some highlights. I'm looking down at all the players. I don't like the fact that we've got a yellow card. And I don't like the fact that they've got a highlight. Although it's turned around for ourselves. There goes Mr. Eco Eurosport guy. Long ball switching cross field to Lyons who pushes forward. Slows down a little bit towards the end. Gets to the byline. Bad cross. McAtee is there but is unable to convert that chance. It's not like him. He's been pretty good in the box. Uh, they want to work the ball in. Um, okay, we'll try that. Last few minutes, why not? Our XG has gone up but we should have converted something by now. And we haven't. Look, look at that. We're dominating really. Um, there's not really much we can do at the moment. The team's playing well. As you were for the second half, um, I am looking at Coville possibly needing to come off and one or two here. Uh, Zanary, if he drops below 6.4, he'll be there. He goes, he's coming straight off. He's got a yellow card as well, so makes sense to take him off early with someone else to opportunity 6.3 he really weren't going to improve from there was he uh, we've got two more two more attempts to jump into the substitutions and make some changes so I'm going to try and hold off as long as possible but the way things are going I may have to change some things pretty quickly I'm going to jump in and change some bits. We're going to do it. I'm going to do it. He says he's going to do it. Fredrickson on the yellow card. I was going to take Coville out, but I don't like the idea of any sending off if I can help it. Uh, we can possibly bring in Shea Charles in the central defensive role. Move him forward so Williams can go back. Then we can bring in that guy. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Uh, take, should I take Makati off? Uh, 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 yeah, we'll take him off. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not going to take him off. We'll bring still on for Lions at the back there, just so we can shore up some of that defensive line. And we'll leave one more sub in case we get an injury or anything else for the time being. And they really want me to make take Makati off. As long as he doesn't get injured, I want to keep him on. Because we're just picking up yellow cards left, right and centre here. 
Uh, I do not want to tell him to ease off though. I'd rather keep the point. I'm going to pull back to balance just to hopefully finish this one off. There we go. Nil nil. I wanted some goals. I got a load of yellow cards instead. But look at the spine there. Most of it was on the left hand side in defence. Um, but I mean, if you look at that, still would have been there. That's not a bad few greens there. We were at a better. It's just, yeah. Maybe the transfer speculation is going to his head. So, just checking on the things around. Um, checking on blubbered old Chesson. Uh, they've fallen down the pecking order slightly. They were a little bit further up. They're now in fourth. It's still possible um, to get promoted for them, but... Um, I think it's a little bit harder when they're down all the way down in fourth. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not we'll be able to see much of what's going on there. Uh, Omari Benjamin is still at the club. I'm guessing he's still on loan, along with Seb Ferdinand, who's he's, a, he's playing a blinder. Um, do you know what? It's, I really do like this guy. I mean, look at his price tag on from Swansea. He's got a big old price tag, hasn't he? But he does look a good little talent. I'm going to see about his availability, you know. 4.1! 4, 4 they do ask a lot. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, it looks like Stevenson's been handed an extra two match. I see this always happens, so I'm not even going to bother to appeal because I might end up with a fine unchanged squad for this one um, Bristol City versus Coventry uh, media predictions are not always favourable fans want a win and the board are expecting a win uh, I think this one's going to be a bit tougher than it looks on paper but if we can pull something out of the bag I think we can safely say we are up we are staying up at least that's the uh, that's the plan. It doesn't look that way very smartly as um, commentary to break up our play straight away and go on the attack. Uh, we did reverse and do the same thing to them. And there goes Eurosport. Is he going to have a crack? He's holding it up, looking to pass it across. It's piggybacked. I'm not even sure who got the goal. It was McAtee. That McAtee scored that. That was a messy goal, but at least it went in. I mean, for starters, Eurosport should have smashed it one there, and he didn't. And then he crossed it all the way over, and that's where I completely lost it. But it's 1-0, five minutes. Could we be on course for a, a good, high-scoring win again? We, we, we've had a few. I want more now. You're getting me excited. Um, shouty, shouty. Encourage the team. I want more. I don't think I'm going to get it as more kicks it out. But it, well, maybe I'm wrong. Long ball over the top. More comes out to collect it. The wrong more that I want. <laughs> I want more for us, not more to get hold of it. Long ball kicked over the top. Fredrickson nicks it forward. McKinsey loses it out, gains it again, loses it out for a second time. Ball's played down on the wing. It's dinked infield slightly. Bagpass crosses it a goal. And McNeil's there to get his 14th of the season. Well, that lead didn't last as long as I thought it would do. I was getting all excited for nothing. Shall we, shall we? I'm actually going to berate that. Oh, I would do that. Now it's his encourage. <laughs> Eurosport with the long free kick. Again, it's hit the post, all the woodwork. Um, when's this guy going to score a free kick? He's the best free kick free kick taker we got. Loins with the uh, throw in. It's back to Fredrickson. Holds ball play up. Nice little one two and a little triangle. I like that. Charles, all the way across the Colwell. Looks to play out from the back. McAtee. Runs down the wing slightly, plays a poor ball infield. And we regain possession from the long clearance and we go again with McAtee. 
Charles Williams plays it forward. There goes McCursty. And we have got another one. 2 1 Getty. That was a really good goal. Well worked manoeuvre. I love the ticky tack 1 2s, the little triangle movements. Um, and I love this turn and ball from Charles. Is it William? Williams? Just turns, plays him in. Keepers come too far out to one side. Gifting an opening. And we're just going to slot it straight in. Now 2 1 up. Now can we hold that lead and improve on it? That's the question. Shall we, shall we? I am going to demand more. It's risky, but if I can get one more in before half time, I think the game's settled. And we have a throw in. Loins, Williams, Loins. Long ball over the top. Zara is there. And so is Moore. Big, lanky, tall Moore in the goal. Has picked that out of the air. No problem. Long ball over the top. Charles now with it. Knocks it forward. McAtee. That wasn't McAtee, was it? <laughs> Eurosport knocks it back. Williams, Charles over the top. There goes McCursty. Oh, yes. Second goal of the season. Second goal of the game, son. Does a little cartwheel. Lovely jubbly. You're not quite Robbie Keane material yet. But not bad, son. It was a nice ball over the top. And again, he gets there first and just gets it. Just smashes it past the keeper. And there's that third goal. I think this game settled. As long as we don't concede, before half time, it's all over. And, and I think I've just jinxed us. No, Bejic's there again. He's been solid. He has been solid this second half of the season, or at least since I've taken over. Brilliant little goalkeeper. Ball's not long. Burgess does pick it up. Zanary's there. Runs forward. Oh! Eurosport finally has a shot from distance. It's just not able to keep it down. Dempsey with a free kick. Knocks it in towards the back. It has gone over. I had to pause for a second then. I weren't sure. This first half has been electric. Four goals. Not bad. 3-1 to us. Our XG's definitely deserved it. Um, they didn't deserve theirs. But um, we're not going to argue too much. With a nice lead. Uh, what I will have to do though is... Um, I'm going to have to take the twin goal scorer. I might have to take him off, you know. It's the yellow cards, you see. I'm not loving these yellow, these yellow cards that they keep getting. Uh, well, we'll bring in Sekrak. I'm not sure if that's how you know. And I'll tell you what. I am going to give Byron a go. He hasn't played too many games. So we'll give him a go. Uh, I'm going to say I'm happy. Probably not the best idea to... Let everybody get too complacent, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Second half goes, and here we go with Colwell back to Chester forward. There's McAtee, he's running down the wing, he's gonna lose out. McNeil's there, McNeil's pretty, oh, he's, he's a decent looking lad. I bet he's uh, I bet he's in his prime, about 26 27. Ball goes over the top. Oh, the keeper's made an error there. Yes, he holds his head up. That was definitely his fault. There was there was no... I mean, he dived too early. Way too early. He committed himself too early. There, he dived before the pilot. All he had to do was just tap it past him. That was pretty bad. I've been singing his praises. And um, I think I'm going to have to give him a personal shout there. And berate him for that. And then we'll give... Oh, we can't give a team shout as well. Never mind. Never mind. Keep an eye on the time. Keep an eye on the players' fitnesses. I don't want them to dip too low. Colwell's starting to struggle. 6.5, his rating's starting to dip. Give a bit of a shout of encouragement here. This is not what we want. This is the Dempsey over the uh, free kick. Is it going to be a shot? It is. In oh, my word. We've blown it. We have absolutely blown it. What were you doing? I'm going to be radical, but I'm going to swap the goalkeeper out. I'm going to swap the goalkeeper out, and then I'm going to swap Colwell out. 
got to try and shore that up as best I can. But as we speak, there goes Eurosport and he's fluffed his lines again. How can this guy go from the amount of goals he's been scoring to goal drought again? Maybe I should have accepted that £45 million pound when it was on the table. We have a corner. Can our corner take it? Get, do something. There he is. Eurosport. Mr. Goal scorer. Heads us back in the lead. Cracking. Absolutely fantastic. We've been trying to work on different little corner routines. This is one of them. And it's worked to a tree. And he isn't even that great in the air. That's going to encourage him. 80 minutes. Let's do another sub. We've got one left. We've got one left. I think Charles is knackered. Let's take him off. We did actually promise him a rest for this game. So um, he's done well to play as far as he's done. But um, yeah, it's not doing too bad now. We just need to... I think we're going to go back to balanced. Eurosport. Euro, Eurosport. I keep calling Eurosport now, which is fine. We nearly got a fifth. We nearly got a fifth. That was so close. 90 minutes, 6 minutes added on Jesus, there's still time to lose this can I change things is there enough time to just drag everyone back behind the ball uh, we'll leave Bureau Sport up there confirm that we've got everyone back just stop them from scoring Stop them from scoring. I will throw a paddy fit if they score now. What the f absolute hell? Are you joking? There's no chance in hell. Wells at a free penalty. And then he said free kick. Oh my days. And we've replaced our goalkeeper. And it. Well, I said it was going to be a high scoring game. <laughs> Just. Really? Every man behind the ball and I don't believe it. I really don't. That's just 90 minutes plus seven. There was only six. Coventry City. Where did you get Fergie time from? <laughs> Unbelievable. Can I select defenders only? No, I can't. I'm not happy. Defenders, can I select you? I'm furious. Furious. Midfielders. I'm disappointed you weren't able to control it. Attackers. I'm delighted with your effort. I think that's how we're going to go. Some are going to be upset, which they are, and some ain't. But, um, uh, cheese me off. I mean, seriously, 97th minute. I mean, it puts us on 50 points. Um, I'm trying to work it out now. We've got three, is it three games left? Three games left. Three games, that's nine points possible. And we are... 10 points clear the relegation zone. <laughs> it may have been 4-4, but we're staying up. I've got another season with Bristol City next season. Um, I think there's going to be some changes afoot. Uh, if I can get some money in, I may actually sell that star man. If I can get some money in for him, I reckon we've got players in the wing that can do the job. Especially Captain Kirk. He's number 50... In the young 50 top talents. Um, so he's very much possible wonder kid. And he's a striker. I think he's going to come in to replace him. If I can get him sold. And a few other layabouts get off the pitch and gone. Bring some new fresh blood in. We could have a good one. Now we're staying up. We'll see you for the end review. Until then. It's Meiji. Peace out.